Hello everyone and welcome to another Upload VR interview. I am Jamie and today we are talking Green Hell VR with Inkuvo. I am joined by Radomir from the developer. How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you doing? Yeah, not bad. Thank you. It's uh, We're speaking just a few days before uh, the game's launch on Quest, so I assume it's it's pretty busy in the Inkuvo offices today. It is, yes. Hello to everybody, by the way. Um, so talk me through a bit about what this game is, just, just, just to start off. What, give us the elevator pitch for Green Hell VR. All right, so it's, uh, it's a survival game. Uh, basically, you are lost in uh, Amazonia jungle, and you have to survive. You have to, uh, you have to craft tools, you have to gather resources, hunt, prepare food, uh, treat yourself if you are hurt or poisoned or sick. And uh, and your basic game is to to survive. Mm. There is now, more behind that. There is a story, but I don't want to do any spoilers. Yeah. So from the surface, it's uh, it's a survival game. Obviously, it was a flat screen game first, and then at Incuvo, you have something interesting going on where there are two teams working on both the PC and the Quest version of the game, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, so what? Yeah, yeah how, how's that different? How is how how is that working? How is that how are the two versions going to differ? Yeah, well, so uh, the flat version is uh, is very is is a huge open world game, and uh, at the beginning it looked like it's uh, impossible to make such a game on Oculus Quest, and uh, uh, so we started developing the PC VR version first, and we wanted to make it as close as possible to the original flat version in terms of. Uh, the, the sheer size of the environment, uh, the number of, uh, of mechanics, uh, objects, everything. And uh, after we tried with the Oculus Quest development, it turned out we actually are able to make a survival open world game on uh, such uh, limited uh, platform as, as, uh, as Oculus Quest or Meta Quest. Uh, because as probably everybody over here knows, uh, MetaQuest is a mobile platform. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a mobile uh, graphics chipset. Mm. So it's, uh, it's very limited in terms of performance. It's way slower than, uh, than PCs are. Yeah. Uh, so we had to do a bunch of things with the game to make it more suited for, the, for, uh, for MetaQuest. Uh, firstly, we had to optimize the whole game like a lot, it's, it's very streamlined. It's mm. still open world, it's still a huge uh, tropical island, and it's actually way bigger than most games on, on Oculus Quest in terms of scope and number of mechanics and everything. But it had to be, it had to be uh, limited. The, the, the environment is a little bit uh, smaller, it's more compact. Um, and, uh, and also a number of, uh, of uh, uh, things to craft and uh, recipes and everything is also a little less than the PC VR version, the flat version. Uh, and that was that was two major things. Like performance-wise, we mm -hmm. had to optimize the game a lot and uh, we kind of streamlined the gameplay too. So it's uh, it's more suited for, for MetaQuest. I think, um, so I've been playing it for the past couple of days and I th the streamlining is really interesting because I think there's so, so much that VR adds to the experience anyway that it's... Right kind of a nice trade-off um one thing i did notice was that obviously one of the big parts of green hell is checking yourself for injuries and in the quest version of the game you've stuck with just the arms rather than right. checking legs as well why did you make that is that the same reason for streamlining the gameplay yeah there's a bunch of reasons the further the, the major one is we wanted to make the game as natural as possible as intuitive so instead of uh, using buttons, uh, keyboard or, or mouse, you are using the, the physical controllers. And uh, so instead of uh, uh, going into inspection mode with, with uh, a key, a button, we just mm. inspect our hands like we would do in real life. So uh, obviously it's not possible with, with legs. So we could use buttons to, to, you know, to inspect legs, but we want it to be consistent in the way you do stuff in the game. So because you do everything uh, with gestures, we don't want to use, uh, you know, buttons to, to, to check your legs. Mm. And obviously, like we're saying, you streamline the game in some ways. So some of these aspects are different. 
But also, I think there are a lot of very interesting new additions to the gameplay. So the idea that if you have a coconut, you can break it on almost any stone surface in the game, I think is right. it's something quite unique and new to this game. How many different opportunities did you find there and, and things like that? Well, uh, it's a good point because the original flat version is uh, the crafting in flat version. Also, the PCVR version is way different. Uh, in the quest version, you do everything uh, with natural motion, with natural gestures. So when you want to craft something, you basically put two things together. And then if you if you want to make an axe, basically, you take a stone, a stick, put that together, then wrap it with some kind of rope, which you can source from a tree. Mm. And you do everything like that. Like when you want to set uh, a fireplace on fire or a campfire, you take... Uh, you know, you, you take a, a, a stone, uh, an object, like a metal object, and you do it like you would do in, uh, in, in real life. In real life survival situation, you would like to set fire with yeah. striking the, the stone with a knife. So this is how you do everything. Like if you want to have a sharpened stick, you take a stick, you take, you know, a knife, an axe, anything that's sharp, a sharp stone, and you sharpen the stick with gestures, this is mm. this is our addition to the uh, to to Green Hell. Everything is done like that, so it's more Im immersive, it's more natural, it's actually following real life uh, survival techniques. Mm. So uh, I think this is this is something completely different than everything else on the market. Yeah, one one of the really interesting things I found playing so far is. Um, you, you have great performance in pretty much all areas of the game that I've played so far uh, until you get loads of items in a given area, which is obviously where uh, performance would start to chug a bit. What kind of limits did you put there? Because one thing I've noticed is I, it's not easy to like throw away items I might not necessarily need at that time. Um, and I just think it's interesting that you allow the player to like really populate these environments with so many items. Yeah, that's a good point. It actually may be a problem. Uh, so please don't do that. Don't throw too much. <laughs> don't collect too much stuff in one space because obviously that may uh, downgrade downgrade the performance of the game. Uh, yeah, we may actually address that issues if that is an issue if if a mm. lot of people will have issues with that we probably will address in some way at this point we didn't want to limit players and we didn't want to uh, make stuff be destroyed or, or disappear what what about other future updates for the game obviously the pc version has co-op support is that something that you guys are looking into adding later on yeah we would like to uh, to add cooperative mode later on with a dlc uh, we don't have a uh, uh, fixed date for that yet, but we're already working on it. Mm. And, and we what actually about made the... a couple of tests. Oh, great! We actually made a couple of tests, and it was great fun to, to you know, to like uh, use a coconut to to to, 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 to actually play to, to use it as a ball. <laughs> so it was fun to throw it to another player to to get it back. Yeah, we we think that uh, co-op is gonna be a, a, a huge thing in the game. It's it's got so much potential. We definitely want to bring it to the game. And what about the uh, the existing expansions for the last uh, for the original version of the game? Some of those are only just rolling out. Uh, is there any scope to potentially bring those over in the future? There are no fixed plans yet for that, but we would like to uh, to support the game long term. And we definitely are uh, considering adding new content to it, adding new DLC uh, content and, uh, and uh, probably new, new game modes. Mm. So we definitely would like to support the game long term and uh, bring a lot of new content to the players. Um, you mentioned uh, like more compact environments in the Quest version and some of the other things you've streamlined. When it comes to the PC version, is that going to be more of a one-to-one -one experience with the original uh, flat screen game yes it is it is more one-to-one -one experience so those two games are uh, very different actually uh, mm -hmm. the pc vr version the the only thing that is uh, common for both versions is the general environment the jungle the the, the island the the basic layout is very similar 
uh, and also the story is the same. Mm. But uh, all crafting mechanics, building mechanics are completely different for Meta Quest. Those are, as I said, uh, more natural, uh, gesture based, and also uh, because making building stuff and crafting stuff with gestures instead of uh, you know using mouse and button is so much more work. Then we uh, wanted to have those uh, uh, those plans slightly easier. So mm. when you build a hut or a tent or something like that, you just need a little less things to build because you do so much more with those things, with those mm. elements, with those building bricks. Mm. Well, I think when people uh, get their hands on it and see, it's actually I I was actually really surprised and impressed with the performance of the game. I think you've done a really uh, great job bringing it over to Quest so, um, from what I've played so far. Um, so that's Green Hell VR coming to Quest uh, this week and out on PC VR in maybe a few months' time, maybe a few weeks' time. Final date for that yet to be decided. Uh, Radomir, thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks, thanks for having me over here. Yeah, of course. Uh, and for more on Green Hell and everything VR, make sure to subscribe to Upload VR's YouTube channel. Thanks so much.